Now, with the negotiations underway, Yemeni women have been demanding a seat at the table. They represent different political sensibilities, activists, development workers and even civil society in Yemen. Now, one of the women at the helm of this campaign is Rasha Jarhum. She's a women's rights activist from Yemen. She's also the director of the Peace Track Initiative and uh, she joins us from Ottawa in Canada. Thank you so much for speaking to us here on Middle East Matters. How do you perceive these negotiations? Some observers are speaking of a so-called breakthrough while others are saying not a great deal has been achieved. Um, frankly, with our experience in Yemen and in the last few years, we didn't have successful um, peace processes so far and also comparing to what is happening in the region. Uh, however, we're trying to be hopeful. Um, we were hoping that, for example, some of the points that we raised uh, about releasing the detainees before, uh, as confidence building measures before even uh, the parties meet in in Sweden uh, happened, but it didn't happen. Still, this topic is being discussed, which is a good sign. Um, we were hoping that women will be included in the main uh, delegations, um, uh, but however, we had only one woman present, and this is something that we have been calling uh, so so uh, strongly um, and we are hoping that the UN envoy will find a way to include women in, in the peace talks because the, the priorities and topics they are uh, bringing are very important. Rasha, you said one woman at the table in the negotiations in Yemen. What role did your organization play in the latest round? Um, we are not present uh, physically, but we're supporting from afar. Um, we have been advising the UN Envoys uh, team on uh, how to make the uh, ceasefire agreements more responsive to women's rights. Uh, we are supporting the women who are uh, participating on the sidelines of the talks currently. We have conducted a Twitter chat discussing the detainees issue and raising concerns of human rights defenders. Uh, about, for example, the use of terminology um, of the prisoners of war, uh, which uh, which is not the case. Or many of the detainees are are not. Uh, they are just civilians, politicians. They are not combatants. Um, so these are the issues that uh, we are trying to support currently. Now, Russia, there have been uh, reports suggesting that women are the ones who are paying the price of Yemen's war. What's your assessment here? Um, it is. Um, it, this is very valid. Uh, I mean, Yemen, even before the war, was a hostile country towards women's rights. Uh, there was uh, violence against women embedded in the laws, in institutions, and in social norms, uh, guardianship rules. Um, so, with the war, everything has magnified. Women who want uh, to travel for medical evacuation are not able because they seek uh, the permission of their guardians. Women are more prone to famine because they eat last. This is normally what happens in Yemen. Women are more prone to diseases such as cholera because they are caregiving uh, caregivers. Women are walking for long distances in besieged areas to try to feed uh, their families and bring the basic life necessities. But it is important for us uh, not to see women as passive victims, but to see their strength and resilience um, trying to address all of these issues. Rasha Jarhum, the co-founder of the Peace Track Initiative, saying women are often the last to eat. Thank you so much for your time.